Hello and welcome to the Mad Leprechaun. My name is Mert Walsh. I've got an engine warning light showing on my dash. I've been advised by my local dealer how to fix it. I'm told it's an easy fix. If that's something that interests you, please do stick around and stay tuned. I'll laugh at the intro. <laughs> Catalytic converter and the end can on the 1200 and the 1250 there is a flap. Now the 1200 that I used to have every time you'd switch the ignition on the flap would cycle and towards the mid part of me owning that motorbike you actually used to hear a squeak when the flap would uh, cycle. Then BMW changed the brain on the 1200 and I think on the 1250 so that flap only cycles every nine times you switch the bike on but my flap in my bike is sticking it's jamming so what I've been told is that if you take the exhaust box the rear can off and either put some silver grease or copper grease on the little bronze bush um, it should free everything up and, uh, and get rid of the engine warning light on the dash. So let's crack on and get that done. Right, surprise, surprise. First thing to do is take the exhaust off. Rear bolt is held on with a T40. The little shield is held on by a T25. Now I know an awful lot of people will say, well surely it's under warranty. Unfortunately my bike is no longer under, under warranty. Um, my dealer did say that they could fix it for me and the next time the bike has been serviced, uh, which is going to be next week. Um, but they said, knowing that I don't mind getting my hands dirty in the garage, that it's something that I could do myself. And then the engine warning light will go off. That big pinch bolt is the same size as this one up here, which is a T40. Oh, wow. Right. Everything's now ready to go, I hope. Time to wiggle, wiggle and take the end can off. That was easy, thankfully. So there is the flap. You can hear the little servo trying to move it, but the flap's not moving. So I just turn it off, and I'm gonna repeat the process nine times and see if anything happens. Right, no, nothing. So let's try and lube it. I have been told absolutely 101% do not spray any WD-40 into your exhaust. Um, try and lube um, these little pieces here. Um, but they're quite a way down in there. So let me get the camera out of the way so I can get my head in there and see what we're looking at. Hmm, what can I say? Um, I have cycled the ignition on and off, if I'm honest, not really sure what I'm doing. Um, the top piece of the, um, the flap cycled a couple of times, uh, a little bit, um, but as far as putting copper slip on, I can't see any place to put copper slip on, so I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I'm going to jam the exhaust on, go for a ride, see what happens. 
Right, little update on what I'm doing. Um, it's the next day. Um, I couldn't see where or how to lube the, um, the exhaust flap yesterday. So I just sprayed some um, penetrating oil into it. I know that's exactly what I was told not to do, but I did. And lo and behold, it worked. However, in the process, in my haste to try and go and see a pal of mine who's in hospital, I, um, I damaged the clamp on the exhaust. So I kind of a lesson learned on that one. So I have a slightly different plan of attack for today. I also want to see if the flap is circulating like it should do and then lube it in a slightly different way with some copper grease. Right, clearly the exhaust is off um, and you can see down into the um, exhaust itself. Um, what I'm going to do is, if the camera would behave itself, so I'm going to get my paintbrush and I'm going to paint some copper slip around the bottom so it hopefully dribbles down into the affected area and then hopefully that engine warning light will stay off. Now I know there's an awful lot of other people out there on YouTube have done basically the same thing um, you can get a bypass for it um, and, and do away with the, the flap altogether. I know an awful lot of people have complained that they have to do what I'm doing and I wish there was um, another way other than faffing about like this and um, I don't think it's I don't think it's very good sorry head in the way so you can see I've put a little piece of copper slip on a paintbrush and um, if you look inside I'm just not telling you how to do it, I'm just telling you how I'm doing it. If you look inside the copper slip or copper grease, um, there is a soft bit that kind of dribbles. And that's important. At least, it's important to my theory. So what I'm going to do is put a piece on a paintbrush and hopefully it will run down into this part down underneath here. I did lube it with... Um, spray stuff yesterday. Sorry, head in the shot. Went for a ride, like I said. I went to see a buddy of mine in the hospital and uh, so I wasn't, uh, I was in a hurry basically to get out. And in my haste yesterday, because I wanted to go and see my pal in the hospital, um, I just sprayed it and I wasn't really thinking of doing anything other than going to see my buddy in the hospital. Um, so I didn't do the copper grease into the bottom and top like I've just done. Hopefully that will fix it. However, whilst I was riding along and a couple of times obviously I switched on and off from leaving home to getting to the hospital and coming back again, um, the engine warning light went off. So hopefully this is now lubed and is now moving like it should do. Um, but in my haste, I damaged the clamp that goes on here Luckily, I have the old clamp off of the old exhaust, uh, the standard OEM one. So I'm going to put that on in its place and let's cross fingers and hope for the best that it works. And this is why you should always use copper grease. If I'd put copper grease on this before, I wouldn't have damaged it. Um, but it's as rusty as rusty and it's all stripped and everything. I'll see how I feel about getting a proper... Um, a Kropovich replacement but for now this hopefully should do lesson well and truly learned it's now tightened up and it's got lots and lots of copper grease on it so hopefully that shouldn't ever happen again and thankfully the OEM um, exhaust clamp 
is the right size and fits around or in the space between the Akropovich and the standard exhaust. I've never used a paintbrush to put my copper slip on before, but I'll tell you what, it's uh, a lot less of a faff, especially when the, uh, the screw is that small. It's tiny. The problem is with the, the exhaust flap is because it's inside the exhaust, regardless of what lube you put on it, whether it be a penetrating oil, copper slip, silver grease, or anything, it's all, I mean, a lot of people have said put graphite grease on it, but um, regardless of what you do, you will have to take the exhaust end can off and do the same thing maybe every six months to every year, depending on how many miles you do. There you go, job done, and let's hope it stays that way. So when you switch on, You get the engine warning light, your track control and the ABS come up and another warning light if there's any messages or anything on your dash. Um, if the engine warning light on the bottom stays on, then uh, clearly uh, there's an issue, but um, it may just be that it is the exhaust flap. Clearly it's not on now and I didn't take a photograph of it. Those two will go off as soon as I ride off down the road. So um, we are sorted, and let's hope it stays that way. Right, that's it, just a quick one. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of the TFT screen uh, with the engine warning light. Um, I might put that in the picture now. Uh, but anyway, the engine warning light has gone, gone off, so let's hope it stays that way. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed this video for any particular reason whatsoever, please feel free to leave a thumbs down. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Ride safe, look after yourself. Take care. Bye-bye.